Club Penguin was one of the best games that I- Hold on, what is this? On the this Club Penguin was one of the best games that I played as a kid. As an indie game developer, I wanted to recreate one of the classic games that I played, Pizzatron 3000. It's a simple game where orders appear on the board and you have to make the pizza before it goes from the start of the conveyor belt to the end. And uh, also apparently it's an obligation to recreate a Club Penguin minigame for your first video. Anyways, this is how I recreated Pizzatron 3000 in less than 24 hours. The first thing I had to do to get started was steal, I mean, uh, <laughs> borrow for non-commercial personal use the assets from the game. It was a little hard to find the assets, to be honest, but after using the Wayback Machine, I was able to find them and download them. I then exported the files to Unity and started to set up the environment. Once I had all the assets down, it was time to start coding. For the toppings, I basically just made a hitbox that interacted with the mouse cursor, and then determined if we were picking up an ingredient, dragging it around, or dropping it. As you can see, it works as you would expect, but for the sauces, I had to program extra functionality because the bottles have to be removed from their stands. It was at the same time that I decided to make the pizza spawn on the conveyor belt and animate it across. The toppings and sauce couldn't be placed on top of it yet, but it was looking promising for only an hour or two of work. To make the topping stay, instead of always destroying the toppings when the mouse cursor was let go, I had to see if it was on top of the pizza, and then if it was, attach it. The sauces, they just had to be different. I decided to make the sauce image fill in based on its percent of how much it was filled in from left to right. I know this is a little different than the game, but cut me some slack, right? We gotta make it a bit original somehow. Now that the pizzas could be made, we needed the game to tell us what orders to make. I created a basic scriptable object so that I could create any order I wanted in the span of 10 seconds. If you haven't used scriptable objects before and you're a Unity developer, I highly recommend checking them out. I then took the pizza spawning manager and had it randomly choose an order from our list and display it on the board. I know there's definitely a way better design pattern to implement here, but let's be honest, no one cares about the code, right? After finishing the game manager, fixing a few bugs, and adding some extra features like audio effects, it was time to finish the game. I quickly put together an end screen for when you lost to see how many pizzas you made and gave you an option to quit or replay the game. Then I made a basic start menu, and that's it, the game was finished. Here's the final gameplay. Well, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments what you guys liked, what you didn't, and any feedback you have for me. I'd also be happy to answer any questions and do a part two if people are interested. Also, this video did take a bunch of time to edit and plan out, so if you did enjoy it, please consider leaving a like on the video or even subscribing to help me out and let me know you want future content. See you next time.